Welcome to the training module on Cypress's Programmable System on Chip, PSOC 5. In this module, we will study the architecture of the PSOC 5 devices. Cypress Semiconductor has three architecture-based Programmable System on Chip. They are PSOC 1, which is based on the MAT architecture, which is Cypress's proprietary based, and PSOC 3, which is based on the industry standard 8051 architecture, and PSOC 5, which is based on the 32-bit Cortex-M3 CPU. This slide compares the performances between PSOC 1, PSOC 3, and PSOC 5. It brings the PSOC design methodology to high-precision analog and high-performance 8, 16, and 32-bit markets. PSOC 1 is M8C based architecture with 4 MIPS and 32 kilobytes of flash memory. PSOC 3 is based on the 8051 which has 33 MIPS processing speed with 64 kilobytes of flash memory. And finally, PSOC 5 is based on the ARM Cortex M3 and its processing speed is 100D MIPS with 256 kilobytes of flash memory. PSOC is the programmable embedded system on chip integrating configurable analog and digital peripheral functions, memory and microcontroller on a single chip. PSOC 5 is a true programmable embedded system on chip integrating configurable analog and digital peripheral functions, memory and a microcontroller on a single chip. There are four main components of the PSOC platform, the CPU subsystem, digital subsystem, analog subsystem, and programmable routing and interconnect. Universal digital blocks implement features and hardware that reduce CPU processing requirements, lowering power consumption. Onboard DMA controller directs memory transfer between peripheral offload CPU operation, lowering power consumption. The integrated analog, digital, and communication peripherals reduce external component counts and lower overall system power consumption. And finally, precise CPU frequencies allows 4,032 different frequencies, turnable power consumption. PSOC 5 is a true programmable embedded system on chip, integrating configurable analog and digital peripheral functions, memory, and a microcontroller on a single chip. Its architecture boosts performance through integrated high precision 20 bit resolution analog, ultra low power with industry widest voltage range programmable PLD-based logic, 32-bit ARM Cortex M3 CPU up to 80 MHz. Eight 16-bit clock dividers generate digital system clocks for general use in the digital system, as configured by the design's requirement. Digital system clocks can generate custom clocks derived from any of the seven clock sources for any purpose. Examples include board rate generators, accurate PWM periods, and timer clocks as well as many others. If more than eight digital clock dividers are required, the universal digital blocks and fixed function timer counter PWMs can also generate clocks. Four 16-bit clock dividers generate clocks for the analog system components that require clocking, like A to D converters and mixers. The analog clock dividers include skew control to ensure that critical analog events do not occur simultaneously with digital switching events. This is done to reduce analog system noise. The universal digital block is capable of intelligent routing, efficiency of the UDBs, custom logic, standard peripherals plus custom logic. It has roughly 500 to 700 gates per UDB, 24 UDBs in the larger chips, providing nearly all the features of the UDB-based timer counter or PWM in an area optimized peripheral. Each block may be configured as either a full featured 16-bit timer, counter, or PWM. The optimized 16-bit timer, counter, PWM blocks provides nearly all the features of a UDB-based timer. PSOC Creator provides easy access to these flexible blocks. Each block may be configured as either a full featured 16-bit timer, counter, or PWM. It has flexibility features like clock, enable, reset, capture, kill from any pin, or digital signal on chip. Independent control of terminal count, interrupt, compare, reset, 
enable capture and kill synchronization. The configurable analog system uses separate modules. The PSOC 3 and 5 architecture has a huge portfolio of analog IP. Exact configuration depends on the product family. It has a 20-bit Delta Sigma samples at 80 samples per second. This slide talks about the routing and interconnects. The device has three types of IOs, namely general purpose IOs, serial IOs, and USB IOs. GPIOs can be connected to any peripheral routing. There are eight different configurable drive modes. Tail chaining allows the processor to transit from the currently executing ISR directly to another pen in ISR without having to spend the normally required cycles to restore state back to main and then to store the state again to get back to the other pen in interrupt. These are the various PSOC power modes. They are active mode, sleep mode, and hibernate mode. PSOC devices have dedicated communication peripherals like full speed USB device, full CAN 2.0B, I2C master or slave. The Cypress PSOC 3 and 5 devices can be programmed using the PSOC Creator. This IDE has the same industry look and feel. Its design flow involves configuration of the components, developing hardware design, writing code, compiling, building and programming the hex files to the device. The CY8C kit-001 is the PSOC development kit. The board also has a prototyping area containing a small breadboard complete with I.O. port sockets nearby, multiple purpose LEDs, mechanical push buttons, and a multiple purpose variable resistor. Three capacitive sensing elements, two buttons, and a five segment slider are included on the board allowing evaluation of cap sense, touch sense, and applications. The board has four GPIO expansion slots around the periphery providing expandability of the I.O. to external boards. The CY8C kit-001 contains a main PSOC development board, the three processor module boards for the different architectures, namely PSOC 1, PSOC 3, and PSOC 5. It also includes a Miniprog 3 debug, an evaluation device, prototype and cable kit, a USB cable, a 12-volt AC power adapter, and both PSOC creator and PSOC designer software. The CY8C kit Dash 001 PSOC development kit provides you a common development platform where you can prototype and evaluate different solutions using any one of the PSOC 1, 3, or 5 architectures. This guide and kit gives you a practical understanding of PSOC technology. In addition, the kit gives several example projects with step-by-step -step instructions to enable you to easily get started developing PSOC solutions. The PSOC 5 First Touch Starter Kit is designed to introduce you to the PSOC Programmable System on Chip Design methodology and Cypress's new PSOC 5 architecture. This full feature starter kit ships with an array of sensors, IOs, projects, and software to quickly get you up to speed with PSOC Creator and our powerful design methodology so you can easily evaluate PSOC. This slide gives the features and kit content of the CY8C kit-014. It has different types of interfaces like accelerometer, thermistor, and proximity sensors.